Hey, this is Brad from Black Ovis, and I'm here with Chris from hey Garmin. And he's got some uh, cool new products that he, we're gonna go over today. Uh, specifically right now, we're gonna talk about the Alpha Series. It's a really cool uh, unit, uh, tons of features packed into it. They've got a new unit, but Chris, first, can you go over more or less what is the Alpha all about? What yeah, are guys absolutely. using it for? Um, kind of just hit some of the key points so so we know what the Alpha is about and then we can jump into the new unit. Yeah, absolutely. So the Alpha 100, sort of the flagship uh, handheld for tracking and training came out in 2012. And in that time period, Garmin's been able to, you know, update that device with software updates and then um, be able to update it throughout throughout that time period. And it's been sort of the leader, uh, the industry leader in tracking and training. Just recently, um, we re relaunched the Alpha 200i. And so some of the neat features that get plugged into this, not only does it uh, completely redesign the screen and the whole product itself, but you also have InReach um, plugged into it. And InReach is another product that Garmin provides that allows you to be able to send and communicate um, while not within a cell phone signal um, or cell phone range. It uses satellite communication uh, technology to do that. So that's a whole nother piece that we can dive into, but the, the handheld itself, I mean, it upgrades the screen. It goes into uh, adding more dogs. And it's a lot more user-friendly, um, has a lot more features packed into it. The Garmin uh, GPS collars, the TT15 and the TT15 Mini, um, allowed uh, users to be able to uh, train their dogs while not within basically hearing distance. Uh, they'd be right. able to range out. This one has, has a nine mile range. This one has a four mile range. And so those dogs, whether it's hounds, whether it's upland hunting, um, you'd be able to track uh, and see if your dog's on point, if it's treating animal, um, where it's located, and you're gonna be able to have that basically security of knowing where your dog is at all times. Right, and not only range, are these mm -hmm. dogs size specific? Are guys buying them that way as well? You bigger can, dogs take sure. the bigger one, or, yep. or how does at, that work? And that's typically what the yeah what they uh, look at. Bigger dogs, like 65 pounds plus, that not, that's not necessarily the standard, but sure. six, typically 65 pounds and, and, and over go with the TT15. And so you're looking at um, larger hounds, you're looking at uh, larger running dogs uh, are going with the TT15 because it has a nine mile radius. That's also the other difference. Has, right. a, has a longer radius there. The TT15 Mini, I mean, you're looking at 65 pounds and um, under just because it is a smaller form factor and sure. it's sitting sitting on their on their neck. So Sure, perfect. Which one are you specifically using on Upland since you're more of the Upland yeah, guy? Yeah, absolutely. And so I have a German short hair. He's right around that 65 pounds. And so I actually flop between them just depending on where I'm going. But the one that I use the majority of the time is the TT15. Gotcha. Regular size, just because he is a little bit um, of that bigger bigger dog. And then also I get that nine mile range. Um, and so yeah, I, I go with the TT15. Gotcha. So jumping now into the the 200 series. Sure. What, uh, what do guys need to know as far as if they've already owned the Alpha 100, yep. what uh, features are they getting if they upgrade? Or if you're going to be new to this whole system, what uh, what are you going to get with the 200 um, yeah. right out of the box? Yeah, right out of the box. I think one of the things that Garmin uh, really focused on with the 200 is actually the user experience. And so it's going to be a little bit more simple adding and subtracting collars. I think that's right. a big thing because most of the time, I mean, a lot of guys go by themselves, but some of the sometimes they have hunting buddies coming with them. And so they have hunting dogs. And so they have a right. lot of collars. And so if you have two dogs and I have two dogs, I can add and subtract dogs on the 200 a lot more easier than um, I would say with the 100. That was one gotcha. of the things that we received feedback on and one of the things that we sort of wanted to implement with our 200 yep. device. Yeah, I've, uh, I've only been out uh, Upland a few times, but I know that the guys I go with, they run their own dogs, have their own set of collars. Right. And the, the ability to interface between every, every dog is definitely a, a great feature. Mm -hmm. And so you'd be able to have groups, and, and so it'd be Brad's group of dogs, Chris's group of dogs, and then another guy's group of dogs. And so at, with the 200, I'll be able to uh, turn that on, turn that off, be able to basically do it pretty quickly um, on this device. Another big thing is the is the screen. You know, it's a little bit larger screen. Um, you're gonna, it's a capacitive touch screen, and so uh, and it's not necessarily going to be recessed into the device. And so you're gonna have um, a lot more, basically, better uh, experience using that screen. Yep, it definitely looks a lot nicer, mm -hmm. easier to easier to go through all the options. Um, now let's touch on InReach. Yep. Um, if you don't know InReach. Um, Check out all the InReach products we sell at Black Ovis. It's absolutely been a game changer. <clears throat> and if you're out hunting, guaranteed, you're seeing guys running InReach. I run InReach. It's an awesome service, awesome product. 
So now, how does this, how does inReach quite interface more or sure. less with uh, this system here? Yeah, so it's taking all that inReach technology that we had in the inReach Mini, inReach Explorer Plus, uh -huh. and plugging it into this device. And so you're going to have an app on this device that you can go into. It's the inReach app. And so you can go in there and you can send messages, send your location, um, send out SOS uh, signal if you, if you need to. Um, let's say something happens to you, um, and you and you need to get help, you can send out an SOS directly from this device. But one of the key things with this is, let's say something happens to your dog. You know, Let's mm -hmm. say something happens to your dog and you need to get help, you can actually send out a message. Let's say you have a vet that you um, have, have his phone number or something. You can send out a text message to say, hey, Bo, my dog, he just um, ran over, or he just jumped the barbed wire fence cut open um, his side. I need you, to, uh, or am I able to bring him in? You know, it's, it's, it's a way for you to be able to communicate out as in, and then also for people to communicate to you. Um, so it adds all those uh, neat in-reach features that come with our other device into this device as well. Because yep. a lot of the time when we're going out hunting, wherever we're going, upland, hound hunting, um, whatever we're doing with this device, typically we're far away from large metropolitan areas or cities and people. And so this is just an added uh, benefit and security to yourself, to your dogs, to others. No, that's awesome. That's super cool. Uh, does tracking as well, just like uh, yep. inReach? We'll, yep, we'll... absolutely. Yeah, so this device also adds in a uh, bird's eye satellite view for free. And so you're going to be able to, let's say you're going to a specific area, you're hunting a new area, or it's a place that you've been going for a while, you're able to click on the bird's eye uh, direct and when you're connected to a Wi-Fi signal you can download the the imagery uh, directly gotcha. on this on this device and so you're going to be able to have that option to toggle between topographic maps and also satellite views also Chris uh, I've noticed that Garmin has been putting a lot of attention in the Explorer app how absolutely. does how does this interface with the Explorer app uh, once you've got your dogs out in the field absolutely yeah I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that Brad one of the cool things that uh, Garmin sort of launched with the 200 is the compatibility with our Explore app and so when you're out hunting when you're out running hiking biking uh, basically recreating with your dog and it's paired up to the 200 and has the, uh, they have one of the colors on it's going to be tracking um, their distance their elevation, um, their speed, how many times that dog has been on point or treed an animal. So it'll um, drop like an icon? If yep, it it'll drop an icon. Um, and it'll show you all that information uh, directly on the Explore app. And then you can actually go back and you can actually replay uh, basically that hunt uh, from start to end, yep. uh, start to finish. And so if you want to go and replay, well, hey, my dog was 500 yards uh, out this way, he went on point, you can see exactly where he went on point or where he treated that animal, how did he get there, yeah. um, and how fast he was running, or all those, all that information will be plugged um, directly into the uh, Explore app. No, that's super cool. Yeah, I know Garmin's put a lot of effort into this Explore app, and I've, you've started to see some of the cool features come through. If you've, if you've got a watch, the inReach, the GPS you're using, now you can use that with your right. dogs and really get into the nitty gritty details. So super cool feature. Yep. Yeah, I think Garmin's really doing well on the, the ecosystem part. You know, Absolutely. all the products are being tied together. They're really uh, benefiting one, uh, one another. And, and like you mentioned, you mentioned the watch. And so you can actually have it directly on your watch as well, yep. uh, telling you where that dog is at. So super cool. Super cool. I think there's one other key thing that we need to mention. Uh, about this device, it's the three training buttons at the top. And so with the Alpha 100, you have your three training buttons and you're able to uh, switch those between tone, vibrate, and then also stim, continuous and momentary. Uh -huh. I think the cool thing with the Alpha 200 is you, you can switch those actually to, hey, I wanna hit this button and I wanna drop a waypoint. That is super critical. So you're going gotcha. out, you run across a wallow, boom, you can hit, hey, hit that button. You can say, hey, I just went over a wallow, put that in. Or boom, hey, I just uh, saw, uh, or I, we just had this cubby uh, that we flushed. You can put that Im immediately in there. You don't need to worry about going onto the screen. Other features are on there. Let's say your dogs are running pretty wide, uh, ranging out pretty far. You can have it so you have one of those buttons uh, just specifically to the map. So if you have it on, uh, let's say you're in reach messaging, but you want to go to the map, you can click one of those buttons. It's a quick, easy way to get through the device um, without actually going into the screen because sometimes you want to lock your screen so that way when you're hiking and you're moving um, you don't want to be hitting the screen you want to lock that and then you can toggle through uh, the device through those three buttons overall awesome user experience built into the interface here mm -hmm. um, so yeah that about wraps up the alpha series if you have any questions please give us a call here at black ovis we'd love to talk to you walk you through these units help you out uh, anything else garmin that you need visit our, our website blackovis.com uh, we'd love to help you out. Thanks, guys.